Hello children. Welcome to English class. Today's lesson which we are going to discuss is the beggar. This is uh, the last lesson of your of your moments book, English book moments. This is a story written by Anton Chekhov. Okay. What induced a beggar, Lashkov, to change his ways? What induce? Induce means what forces? What insist a beggar to change his way? That means he is in a track to move forward. Suddenly he changes its path. What is the reason behind it? When we will go this through the story, we will be able to understand and get the answer of this question. So let's see what the story is telling about. Kind sir. Have pity, turn your attention to a poor, hungry man. For three days, I have had nothing to eat. I haven't five kopecks for a lodging. I swear it before God. This is the line which has been uttered by a beggar to a person, to the well-established person or the person who are having enough money. He is pleading or begging in front of them so that they'll give him some pesa or some uh, amount. Kopecks, kopecks is the Russian currency for as we have dollars, pens, like that. It's, it's a Russian currency, kopecks. So he is telling that I'm not having even five kopecks to have lodging. Lodging means to live somewhere. I swear it before God. By the swearing of God, so I swear that I have not enough money even to wait or reside for one night. For eight years, I was a village school teacher and then I lost my place through intrigues. I fell a victim of kelumin. Kelum means moving off a false statement means he was a good teacher in his uh, previous life. He was a teacher, but somehow or the other, he lost his way. That means he became a false statement person who reside or depend upon his false statements, his, fall, his false uh, words. It's a year now since I have had anything to do. That is, I have anything to do. I have had anything to do means what? I could do anything. Rather, you can say I can do anything so that I can own my livelihood. But unfortunately, I'm not getting anything. So I have been forced to beg in front of you people who are established. Okay. The advocate Sergi looked at the raged fawn-colored overcoat of the suppliant, at his dull drunken eyes, at the red spot on either cheek, and it seemed to him as if he had seen this man somewhere before. He noticed the person. He was wearing an overcoat, means a long coat, and his cheeks were... Uh, spots spotted cheeks and his drunken eyes means drowsy eyes he was feeling that he will fall fell down right now and he'll sleep drowsy eyes drunken eyes or uh, you can say um, you can say if someone gets uh, addicted to something uh, say any type of drugs then his eyes near about are in the situation to close down. That is drunken eyes. Red in color and sleepy sleepy uh, intention is there. Intoxicated person's eyes you can see. If he had seen this man somewhere before. So he just turned the lawyer that have I seen this man ever? I mean it seems a bit known to me. I have now had an offer of a position in the province of Kaluga. The, med the medicant went on. But I have not the money to get there. Help me kindly. 
I am ashamed to ask, but I am obliged to by my circumstances. Means what? I am getting an opportunity to get a job, but I need the money to re to reach my destination. But I am not having so. So I am begging in front of you. Please give me some money so that at least I can do something for myself. My circumstances are insisting me to beg in front of you people. So Jis I fell on the man's overshoes, one of which was high and the other low. And he suddenly remembered something. Look here, it seems, he said. It seems to me I met you the day before yesterday in Sadovia State. But you told me that you were a student who had been expelled and not a village school teacher. Do you remember? Means what? This lawyer, he was absolutely correct. He had definitely seen this person before and that is not two before, just the day before, the day when this incident is happening. That is yesterday. And there, this person told him that he was, and uh, at that time, he was a student who had been expelled. Expelled means when you are thrown out of the institution without um, any valid reason, or maybe you are trapped, or you are restricted, something like that. But that time you told you are an ex you are an expelled student. Now you are telling you are a school teacher. You remember that? No, uh, th that can't be so. That can't be so. Uh, I am a village school teacher, and if you like, uh, I can show you my papers. Now, mumbled the beggar. Mumbled money <clears throat> when you stammer. This is mumbling. When you are scared or when you get tensed you cannot utter the words very clearly or distinctly you mumble up that is mumbling and he took back two or three steps he get back and he told it no 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 it's not be it, it can't be true i i can show you papers if you want to see have done with lying you called yourself a student and even told me what you had been expelled for don't you remember how, how can you lie like that Yesterday only you, were, you told me an incident that why you were expelled and now you are telling that you were a teacher. Are you really not remembering what did you tell me yesterday? Sergi flushed and turned from rage creator with an expression of disgust. Now Sergi become disgusted. Ah, disgusting. All the lying fellows. We get, uh, I mean, we get agitated that why the person is lying to us. This is dishonesty, my dear sir, he cried angrily. This is swindling. I shall send the police for you, damn you. Damn you means I'm abusing you, insulting you. What the hell are you telling? <clears throat> he started shouting. I'm going to call the police. Sir, lying his hand on his, on his hurt. The fact is, I was lying. I am neither a student nor a school teacher. All that was fiction. Formerly, I sang in a Russian choir and was sent away from for drunkenness. But what else can I do? I can't get along without lying. No one will give me anything when I tell the truth. What can I do? Now see, the situation of any person, when the situation is very tough or when the person is passing through any hard situation, then he is forced to do something which is not correct. Rather, which is a part of dishonesty. It can be lying, it can be um, trapping someone, it can be uh, being dishonest to someone, it can be, um, I mean, stealing, anything can be. But what is that is the situation which forces a person to do something wrong. We'll end our class today over here. We'll continue in our next session. Till then, be healthy. Stay tuned with my channel. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.